Hello, and welcome to Campus to Community. I'm your host, Don Alford, CBC's Assistant Director for College Relations. On today's show, Dr. James Conca, a senior scientist with RJ Lee Group and the director for CBC's Center for Laboratory Sciences, will explain how this partnership is a win-win for the lab and the college. We'll also talk with CBC student Fernanda Pinchera, whose love and understanding of science has grown because of her internship with the Center for Laboratory Sciences. But first, we're joined with Aaron Seinert, the Outreach Specialist for the Bechtel National Planetarium. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Don. So please tell us, what makes the CBC Planetarium so special? Well, a lot of different reasons. It's really the only facility of its kind here in the Tri-Cities. We have the top-of-the-line projection system, the SciDome XD, the, uh, really the best that money can buy. <laughs> we have the largest uh, theater for planetariums in the entire state. Mm -hmm. We also have a pretty diverse film library, about a dozen different movies that we have in rotation, many of which are astronomy related, some of which though go into other sciences. For instance, we have a movie all about cell biology. So a lot of uh, different movies and a lot of different things to offer to people in our community. Wonderful. Now, I know our planetarium is so special that we had even special guests. Tell us about that. We did. During our grand opening back in December, we had a few astronauts come by and give a talk. We had Story Musgrave. He was a NASA, NASA um, shuttle astronaut. We also had Charlie Duke. He was the 10th man to walk on the moon. So that gives you kind of an idea of just how special this facility is to hear us here in the Tri-Cities. Wonderful. So how is the facility being utilized? Well, on top of being able to offer programs to the public and doing private events as well, the CBC students also uh, come and use our facility fairly often. We have a few astronomy classes that are being taught using our projection system. A few other classes will also come in and show movies um, and give lectures. The ASCBC student group on uh, CBC's campus, they also have a few movie nights that they, they work in throughout the year as well. Great, I understand that you also uh, invite K-12 students to come? Absolutely, and I'm glad you brought that up because right now uh, K through 12 classes, anybody in the area can sc schedule a trip with me to come to the planetarium, a field trip, absolutely free. Uh, that's an amazing thing we can offer to the community. Uh, we also can offer private events. Those do come with a fee, but just visit our website or give me a call and we can set up a future date and time for a visit. Great. So tell us about the weekly shows that you offer in the planetarium. Sure. We offer uh, shows every Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. and each of those shows is about an hour long. The first half is a live presentation where we'll talk to the community about things they can expect to see in the night sky, uh, astronomical events coming up if there's meteor showers or an eclipse coming up. The second half of the presentation is a full dome movie presentation. And again, we have about a dozen or so different movies that we uh, rotate out for those public shows. So all told, you're in the theater for about an hour for your visit. Wow, what a jewel for the community. Absolutely. So how can the community help support the planetarium? I'm glad you asked that as well. We do offer individual and family memberships that are yearly memberships. There's opp there are opportunities to uh, also donate to the planetarium through the CBC Foundation, including getting your name engraved on a plaque that you can put, we can put on a seat for you. And that seat is your seat. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you so much for spending time with us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. We encourage you and your family to come visit the planetarium and enjoy one of our shows. For a complete listing of our programs at the planetarium, visit our website at columbiabasin.edu forward slash planetarium. We'll be right back. Where can you see stunning views of stars, galaxies, and other wonders of the universe? Visit the Bechtel National Planetarium at Columbia Basin College. Take a guided tour of the night sky under a spectacular dome in the Community Enrichment Foundation Theater where you can learn about phases of the moon, planets, constellations, and other fascinating objects in deep space. Science and educational films for a variety of age groups are also displayed on the planetarium dome. Look up into the night sky. Learn more about our universe. partnership with RJ Lee Group and CBC's Center for Laboratory Sciences, a partnership was created. With us now is the Director for the Laboratory Sciences, Dr. James Conca. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. 
So, um, James, I'm sorry, what is the Center for Laboratory Sciences and what services do you provide? It's CVCCLS was formed as a unique meld between academia and a commercial operating laboratory. And the whole point was to give students an opportunity to, f to figure out what the job would actually be like. I mean, it's really nice being in a class with, 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 with a laboratory component and you learn how to do titrations and chemistry and that's great. But what is a client actually going to pay for? What do they want from you as, a, as a new employee? And oftentimes, you know, th throughout my career when I've been hiring people, new hires, I just assume it's going to be six months to a year before they can do anything useful at all. Okay? And, th and that, that's kind of a waste. And it's, 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 it's tough. Um, whereas students, you know, who, who, who have been through this program, who, who have uh, uh, done internships at, at, at CBC CLS, um, they will hit the ground running. Okay, and so they, they'll, they'll know the, the use of, of, of quality assurance program. They'll know how to, how to do SOPs. They'll know, how, you know what the client actually wants and what their employer wants before they even get there. Incredible. So explain how CBC and the CLS, how are they, how is this mutual benefit? Well, a, a, a CBC gets, you know, access to a fully uh, operating commercial laboratory with great equipment mm -hmm. and, 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 and really neat clients like, you know, Department of Energy and, and, and things like that. Um, RJ Lee Group, which is the, the, the company that, 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 that runs CLS that formed this public-private partnership with the state of Washington through CBC, um, we, we're an industrial and environmental forensic laboratory. Um, so so uh, af after the 9-11 the tragedy, uh, our, our RJ Lee Group was called in to determine the chemical signature of the Twin Tower dust, you know, that, that horrible dust that, that uh, firemen and, and first responders were, 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 were breathing in that actually has a chemical signature. And so that, that was kind of neat. Um, and then uh, uh, similarly during the, uh, B, um, the, the BP oil disaster, uh, we were one of the responders there too, and we actually took CBC students down there with us to, to, wow. to, to work on that program. So, so it's really a nice opportunity to, to get students first-hand knowledge of what it's like to be in the industry. Yeah. That's incredible. Okay, so what are the future goals for the lab? Well, we're, we're pretty underutilized. Uh, you know, we only have, you know, five or so students and, you know, and a couple of faculty at any one time. We, we could take, you know, ten times that amount. So, so the whole idea is to get it really hopping, you know, get, get, get many students in there, many, many faculty, get more work from, from, from the surrounding um, area and, and, and really make this partnership take off. So, so, so we have a full range of analytical chemistry, so um, uh, gas chromatograph mass spectrometry, uh, uh, inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry. You know, we, we pretty much can measure, um, you know, lead, arsenic, um, trichloroethylene, furans, um, down to part per trillion levels, you know, to figure out um, if, if there's any toxic constituents in water, air, soil, things like that. Um, and, and we also have a fully uh, uh, operational rad lab, so, 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 so we take radi radioactive materials from the site and th things like that and do the, so those kind of, uh, of tests on them. Great, so you actually do lab work for different companies? Yes, yes. So if there's anyone that's interested in getting, um, getting an internship or using your services, or how do they contact you? Give me a call, 545-4989, or come and visit again. We're, we're right on the campus of CBC. We're actually part of CBC. All right, thank you so much, Jim. Great, thanks. Up next, learn how one CBC student is benefiting from her internship with the CLS. We'll be right back. Looking for a career where you are needed, can travel, and earn an excellent wage? In the next three to five years, more than 40% of the nuclear energy workforce will be eligible to retire. Columbia Basin College's Nuclear Technology Program provides training to become radiation protection technicians, plant operators, and instrument and control technicians. Here's your chance to become part of the nuclear workforce. Train today to power up your career. CBC student Fernanda Panchera is here to talk about her experience as an intern with the CLS. Welcome, Fernanda. Hi, Don. So please tell us, what initially made you interested, first of all, in science? 
I became interested in science when I decided that I wanted to go to medical school and become a physician, which requires a lot of science courses. So while I was working on my AA, I started taking the biology and chemistry series, and through that process, I learned to truly love and appreciate science. Well, great. So how did you become an intern with the Center for Laboratory Sciences? I became an intern unexpectedly. I had recently just started taking my chemistry classes, and my professor, who also works at CLS, had mentioned an internship, and I thought it'd be a great experience to gain more knowledge in science, so I decided to apply. I went through the interview process, and I've been there ever since. Great. And so now you are coming up for uh, almost a year working as an intern. Mm -hmm. What would you say are one of your largest benefits to working in the lab? Uh, I would say primarily the vast amount of knowledge that I gained while working there and the hands-on experience. I was very fortunate to work with Rosa Carrera, who is a scientist at CLS, and she was my mentor while I worked there. And she taught me more than I ever anticipated. And uh, she truly loves what she does, and it made me value my internship even more. Wonderful. So I understand you just earned your AA degree mm -hmm. this past June. And so what are your next steps? Uh, right now, I am working on my bachelor's degree at, here at CBC, and I'm still working at CLS. I hope to further my education in chemistry. I truly love working in organics, so I hope to eventually become an organic chemist. And in the meantime, I want to work with students here at CBC and work with programs such as TRIO, who played a major role in my academic success, and give back the amazing gift that RJ Lee has given me. Wonderful. We're so grateful and proud of you and glad you took that initial step to become an intern. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Well, this concludes this month's Campus to Community. For more information on the topics we discussed today, information will be um, found at the bottom of your screen. If you'd like to contact Columbia Basin College, please contact us at 547-0511 or visit us on the web at columbiabasin.edu. Thank you for joining us. I'm Don Alfred.